<laughs> we are speeding on camera. <laughs> Hello everyone, so today we're having a special episode where one person is doing the book and I'm asking the questions. This is my belt twin, oh, Melanie. Yeah. Hello everyone. <laughs> yes, and today we're going to be talking about Heartberries. Tell me a bit about why you chose this book in the first place. So Heartberries just stood out to me when I was reading through the list of books. Um, her story sounded really powerful. It is also um, described as a poetic um, written memoir, which is really interesting genre for me, for books, so. So yeah, tell yeah. me a little bit more about the content of the book. What is she talking about? Okay, so it's by Therese Marie Malhot, her coming of age story, pretty much. Um, it's written mostly um, while she's going through like treatment of um, bipolar disorder and PTSD. She grew up on an Indian reservation and she had a terrible upbringing, a lot of abuse um, in her family and she's kind of like telling the story of the like indigenous people. She's not speaking for like everyone but she's speaking for a lot of people to like feel brave enough to share their stories. I didn't really have much background but I'm kind of glad I didn't because it was really interesting and I definitely want to know more about this now yeah. after reading the book. It really shows like all the emotions that she had to go through in her life. I was um, almost in tears at parts at this book. The way she wrote it really touched my heart and um, I really could feel how she felt in those moments. And um, there was a large section of the book that she wrote after she had committed herself to a mental institution. And she described everything so perfectly and um, just you felt like you were there like in her shoes and it's, it was really powerful. The genre is mem memoir, and you kind of talked about before how it's very like poetic um, and beautiful, like sp uh, beautifully spoken. Do you think that this affects the meaning of the book in any way? I definitely do because it's not very like straightforward because it's so poetically written. You have to like kind of think about it and, and interpret the words like almost like they're like song lyrics or something. For everyone who reads it, it can be like interpreted a little differently. Do you find this book timely in any way? It was made, or it was published this year, probably because she thought that it was timely for her. But do you see it in a general context of history and like where we're at right now? I think um, it's important where we are right now. She's kind of speaking for the people on her reservation. Probably made a lot of young women feel safer sharing their stories. A lot of um, kind of freedom and the ability to feel safe talking about things that happened to them in their lives right. that are really awful. And um, it's kind of really important to talk about it because these types of things happen to everyone. And I guess that kind of also goes into the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. just yeah. being able to feel free enough to tell your story and not be completely afraid of what mm -hmm. might happen afterwards. Yeah, and it's very hard to open up like that and talk about things that have happened to you in your life that are extremely horrifying. <laughs> so, and many things happened to her. It wasn't just like one. She had, she dealt with so much in her life. Um, and so, I think that it definitely um, probably it, it touched me and it definitely touched a lot of people's hearts who had to go through similar experiences as her. Would you recommend this book to other people and who should read this? I definitely recommend this book. Um, it was really, it was a great, great read. Um, I think that it's definitely um, important, it'll definitely be powerful to like young women, middle-aged women, but also I just think everyone should read it. Um, it's really important to hear stories like this and um, understand that like these things going on um, are so real and happen to everyone and because it's a memoir, like she's just writing about her real life and everything that happened. So it makes it even more powerful because of that. And I think that everyone should be able to understand like what she had to go through right. and um, see that this happens. I feel like 
especially nowadays, it's very um, common to want to just read stories that you relate to. Like people love stories that mm -hmm. are relatable. Like I see myself in that character, but I feel like it's also really important to read stories that you can't connect to because yes. you have to realize how privileged you are, like you said, yes, and see what other people are going through so that way you understand life in a bigger context. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. like I'm very lucky to not have to have gone through pretty much anything that she had to go through, but it's very important to read on people's lives. Do you have any like last things you wanna say about the book? Yeah, I think that you should all read it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's a fast read and I definitely recommend it. Thoughts on being a part of the Passion Project book club and taking the time to read this book. <laughs> I'm so happy that, yeah, I got to be part of this. I It's really hard for me to have time to read books for fun um, in, in college because we have all this other reading to do for class. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to like take some time out of my day, just like read a book that I actually want to read for fun um, was really nice. I haven't read a whole book that wasn't for school um, in a really long time because I'm always getting distracted by other things and so I'm really I feel really accomplished that I finished this book and read it and it's kind of inspiring me to just read more for fun and I'm really glad we did this passion project great thank you so much thank you <laughs>